In this video, I want to look at a harder example, a more tricky example of rationalising the denominator for thirds, where we've got root 2 plus root 3 over root 5 plus root 6. It looks absolutely ghastly. However, we do it in much the same way as we've gone through the previous examples. So I'm going to multiply it by 1, multiplying it top and bottom by this denominator here, but with the sign change. So in exactly the same way. So I've got root 5 take away root 6 over root 5 take away root 6. Okay, It doesn't look any nicer at this point, but that will be the method that we're going to be using. So we've got root 2 times root 5, which is root 10. I've got root 2 times minus root 6, so that's minus root 12. I've got root 3 times root 5, which is root 15. And then I've got root 3 times minus root 6, which is minus root 18. Okay? For the denominator, I have root 5 times root 5, which is 5. I've got root 5 times minus root 6, which is minus root 30. And then I've got root 6 times root 5, which is plus root 30. So you can see those bits cancel each other out. And then I'm left with root 6 times minus root 6, which is just minus 6. So, I've got root 10, take away root 12, plus root 15, minus root 18, over 5 take away 6, which is just minus 1. So, dividing by minus 1 just changes the sign of each of the elements in the numerator. Okay, So, I could leave it like that. Or you could start spotting, actually, root 12 and root 18 can be simplified. So I could write this as minus root 10 plus, well, 12 is 4 times 3. So that's 2 root 3. Minus root 15, that can't change. Then I've got root 18, which is 9 times 2. So I've got 3 root 2. Okay? And that's as far as I could simplify those certs down. Okay? So it looks absolutely horrific, the final answer. Um, but it is still easier to work with than the original fraction, the original problem, because of those certs in the denominator.